Hello, this is Digital Byte Computing. Today we're gonna to look at how to factory reset an iPhone. So this particular phone is an iPhone 7 and we're gonna look at erasing it and setting it back to factory default. So we're here on our phone. Now the process is really going to be very much the same regardless of which version of iPhone you've got. Uh, if you've got a newer version of iOS, uh, this process will really be the same across any phone. Now, why would you want to um, factory reset your phone? Well, perhaps you are having trouble with it. You want to start again. It's corrupted. Uh, you want to sell it. Uh, you want to give it to a friend, to a family member, and you just want to remove all data that you've got on it. That is generally the main reason that you want to do this. Uh, and by doing this process, you're essentially deleting every single one of your applications uh, that are on your phone, all of your data, all of your photos, all of your saved calendar invites, your notes, etc., etc. You're going to remove everything, delete everything. So, if there is data that you need to keep, if you need to, you know, keep and back up some of that data, so you can do that through iTunes on your Mac or on your PC. Just essentially plug in the Lightning port, um, light, Lightning cable into the Lightning port on your phone, and then into the USB. Uh, into a computer and then back it up through iTunes. Uh, you can also do it through an iCloud account if you've got iCloud storage. But if you are happy to remove everything, you want to factory reset it, let's just now go into the settings area. You'll, hear, you'll see here that it's in the bottom right hand corner. Select settings and we want to scroll down. Now keep note first that I don't have a Apple ID uh, set up. I don't have an iCloud set up. Uh, if you do, then you're going to need some extra security, um, you know, to be able to be able to erase it. But we'll cover that in a second. Scroll down to General, and then go down to the very bottom to where it says Reset. All right, select Reset, and you've got a few different options here: uh, Reset all settings, Erase all content and settings, Reset network settings, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, all, all but none of these, uh, or all but one, I should say. Um, reset some form of settings, uh, configuration, customization um, on your phone. Uh, they're not really going to erase any data. Erase, uh, reset all settings, reset network settings could be used, for example, if you're having trouble on your, on your phone, if it's running poorly, uh, if you're having network connectivity issues, if the apps are behaving you know, strangely, uh, there could be times that you want to just reset all of those preferences and those settings. But for the purpose of this, we are going to erase all content and settings. So select erase all content and settings. It's gonna ask you for your pin code, which you can now put in. So put in, in my case, the six digit pin code. And then you're now presented with an area here to erase your iPhone. Uh, this is, uh, you know, obviously this is a spot where you're gonna delete all your media, all your data and reset all your settings. So if you're happy with that, select erase iPhone. And now we'll just double check that uh, you, are, you know, to make sure that you are sure that you want to do this because you're going to lose everything. So if you're happy with that, click on erase my phone, erase iPhone. Now I will mention that before you click on this, um, if you are then prompted for a further third level of protection around um, resetting your phone, and asking for a password, it could be to do with your Apple ID or iCloud ID that you have could, that you have configured. Uh, when you have set up your phone, you may have set it up to talk to a, uh, an iCloud account, an Apple ID account. Um, so this will actually remove your iPhone from that account. Um, and just essentially, it's just another level of security that Apple has built into their products. Uh, in case your phone gets lost, they, they need to know your Apple ID credentials to be able to do this. So if you're happy with that, let's just click on Erase iPhone. And if all things have gone well, we're now presented here with an Apple logo. So this process may take a little bit of time, really depends on how much data was on your phone, how, you know, the model of your, of your iPhone as well. Uh, but then once it's all done, your phone may reboot a couple of times and then you'll be presented with this screen. So this is now essentially saying that the iPhone has now been completely reset. Uh, at this stage, you can essentially turn off your iPhone and it is now set uh, back to factory reset essentially, so where you can now potentially sell it. Uh, but that is now in a position where it's completely factory reset and you now go home, press on home, and you can now configure it from scratch, reset up all of your applications, your files, etc. give it to somebody and then they can do all of that. So that is really the steps 
on how to factory reset, how to erase a iPhone. I hope you found this helpful. I would love it if you gave me a thumbs up on this video if you did, and also subscribe to Digital Bike Computing for a whole bunch of more videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you next time.